I want to talk today about something that is going to be very controversial and that is the need to leave traditional ideas of Christianity in order to maintain a walk with God. I think this is an issue that a lot of people are coming up against where they have come to see that the ideas of what is Christian is not one and the same with what is truly Christian, what is truly of the Word of God and the Spirit of God. And they're finding so often in churches that what churches are producing is a fruit that is that is vain, a fruit that is empty. And it, there's this, this foolishness, this pettiness, this, this silliness, this naivety that's going on inside of churches. And, and so many Christians serve these ideas because they're told that this is Christian and they're not looking at the spirit of these things. They're not looking at the fruit of these things. And so many people are coming up against, you know, needing something more than that. They need something more. They need God for who he really is. And they need the substance of righteousness, the substance of true religion. And so many are seeing that they have to go outside of these traditional ideas of Christian, this, this age of Christianity, in order to find true Christianity. And yet so much of the pushback with people is, you know, that everyone who's doing this is only doing so in a heretical sense, is only doing so because, you know, they're falling into a progressive gospel and those types of things. And it's very real that that is happening. A lot of people are leaving the faith and they're, they're ending up in strange, weird places. And that is a very real danger. But to say that everyone who's finding that there is a deep lack of substance and bread and help and goodness and righteousness in the, 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 the standard church today, and to say that people recognizing that and, and, and hungering and thirsting for righteousness is one and the same with people who are, are going in um, those deceptions is, is a cruelty. And this is a lie that is being spoken all the time. Um, that, that there's, it's acting as if there's no legitimate concerns whatsoever. And the problem is the longer we don't deal with the true concerns and we don't legitimize those things, you know, we think we're, we're keeping people in check, but what we're doing is perpetuating the problem. We're just driving people out of the church because we're never getting at the things that people really need. We're never correcting the issues. And the problem today is that so many people are comfortable in what they have understood about God. They're comfortable in, in their understanding of things and they think everything that's, you know, is good. But they don't recognize that the reason things are good in their eyes is because they are unfeeling towards these issues. They're unfeeling uh, of those things and they believe that that unfeelingness is, is a proof of, of a righteous heart in them when it's actually a proof of the fact that they're not feeling the need for these things um, and how lacking those things are in today's church. So many people today are having to leave church in order to really find God, to really come into an understanding of God uh, and to get past these things. And, and it's no surprise. Like, why are we so surprised when we read these books that so many people write books and they're just so vain. You know, you, you see these programs that people put on in the church, you know, their, their sermon series, and they're just pathetic. These things are, are weak and they're, they're, practically worthless. We are in a real crisis today in the church because we need to deal with the things that are not prospering the church, that are not bringing real substance and bread. And it really comes down to our doctrine. And so many people are afraid to really face that their doctrine is is broken it's backwards it's contrary to righteousness it's contrary to to real repentance it's contrary to holiness and instead of facing these things and realizing that that their beloved doctrine that they're defending so much in order to defend god is the very fruits of, of what is causing this problem you know and they think that by holding to these doctrines they're defending god and they're defending truth and they don't see that this is this is where the corruption is coming from because what we believe you can't just believe something in a vacuum what you believe is always bearing fruit and and we have in our day 
the evidence that what we believe about God is producing such vanity. It's pr producing worthlessness and, and oppression and meanness. And, and we have a very real problem on our hands. And so people who are seeing that, who are experiencing that vanity, who are experiencing that abuse or oppression, you know, they're seeing that they need to go beyond the, the, the idea of what is church, the idea of what is Christian today. And that's not heretical. That's not darkness. It's not darkness when you are truly walking, you know, bearing the reproach and going outside the camp in order to have God, in order to really have God. And that's the responsibility that I would very much encourage these people to be careful, you know, to watch their, their hearts and to watch their attitude and use this in order to find God, in order to see God and to, to, see that the the need here is not less religion the need here is true religion and that's where the devil loves to deceive is to to tell you the opposite to say oh see all of this all of this is the outcome of religion you know all of this is the outcome of people taking christianity too seriously when it's the opposite it's the opposite of people not truly understanding the righteousness of god and really living for it and when we don't have that that righteousness, when we don't live for God in a right way, that's the fruit, that's the outcome, is that harm and that deception, the very things that you have been experiencing. You know, it, it's okay to, to realize that you need a bigger, you know, reach, a bigger understanding of God. Um, and that's what I think many people are seeing. They need to understand a God who is not, you know, uh, standing with people who are oppressing others. They need to understand a God who is who is more than what they're being told is God today. But you want God for who he really is. You don't want to lose God in the face of these things. And and that's the danger to be careful of. So many today are, are well pleased with their kind of Christianity. And it, it's it's baffling. Like when they look when you look around and people are satisfied with what's going on today. I mean, they think that that's a proof of righteousness. They think that's a proof of, of, of loving God when it's a proof of just an absolutely, you know, unfeeling heart where, where so many things are harming so many people and they're just, they're just happy in the midst of it. You know, they're just, they're content as they climb whatever, you know, ladder of this religious age and they don't realize how much they're forsaking true religion, how much they're forsaking true holiness and righteousness to be content with these things. They think that that is a sign of, of good of them and good of their kind when it's a sign that they are out of touch with reality. They're out of touch with like the real problems of what's going on and they're satisfied with a, a righteousness that isn't really righteous. They're satisfied with a, with a moral high, a religious high that's never actually producing substance in this world. Because they're so convinced that they're doing such a great job, this is why they condemn those who are opposing this. That this is why, you know, they're 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 condemning those who are going against this and seeing it as one and the same with, you know, people rejecting Christ, with people rejecting God. But what's really happening is people are rejecting them. People are rejecting their understanding of religion. And the two are not the same thing. And and those who are walking away need to understand that the two are not the same thing you can reject what people understand about god and you can realize that you've hit that glass ceiling you know of, of people's you know religion and maybe you were a person who wasn't paying attention before and something's come along and, and forced you to see you know how wrong you were to be satisfied in these things but to see that these things in the the you know the church today and the ideas of what is christian today being unsatisfactory is not the same as believing that lie that God is unfaithful and you know he's gonna fail you. It's not the same as what is actually good, what is actually true, which is the true religion of God. What you're fighting is is a, a, a lack of religion, a lack of, of godliness, a lack of righteousness and contending for the true form of those things and for all of us that is the choice we have to make it's not whether you 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 know you're in this church you agree to this this religious age it's whether you truly agree to christ and you are honestly pursuing him and any person you know who who 
is not genuine in this, who's not walking that genuine faith, whether you're doing it in some, you know, far confusing, progressive ideology and just totally dismantling everything and that's a very real thing or you're doing that in the church and you're just plugging your ears and you're ignoring everything everyone else is telling you about the harm that's being done because la 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 you believe in god you know it, it's it's that faithlessness and it doesn't matter what form of faithlessness it takes it's it's whether we have that faithfulness to god and we're pursuing that faithfulness or not and many of us are coming to be rebuked because what happened is that we weren't faithful and it took something tragic it took something difficult to wake us up and don't confuse that 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 suffering and that waking up for pride or for losing god altogether see that as your issue your sin that you were so satisfied with these things before or partly satisfied or you partly you know participated in these things and use that as a rebuke to you for religion for righteousness and and walk with god in faithfulness in that